Okay, so uh, as a general surgeon using a, either a conventional laparoscopy uh, method or a robotics, what would you say are the, the top benefits of uh, using a robot? Why, why using a robot? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, you know, and we can get into this um, when we talk more about digital surgery also, but, you know, classically, as you know, I mean, I don't have to tell you about robotic surgery, but maybe to the audience, um, the benefits of robotics, a lot of it was mechanical, right? Mm -hmm. You can control forearms, you have the wristed motion, you have the scaled motion, you have the, you know, tremor minimization, you have 3D vision, you can control the camera, it's very stable. Those, I feel like, now you can kind of see as like table stakes, right? This is like, that's the bottom barrier to entry to a robotic platform. But to me now, the, the bigger advantage of robotics is you can integrate what the surgeon does into the whole operative experience, right? So you can look at, um, you can really analyze a surgeon's motions because, you know, the robot has a capability more than just the, the laparoscopic instrument does, you know, beyond just with the camera view, the robot, you can actually integrate the sensors into it and you can analyze, you know, um, when a surgeon did this, what was the patient outcome from that and kind of connect those dots. To me, that's the most exciting part of robotic surgery, especially but, moving forward. Yeah. So it's, it's the data that comes from the My Intuitive app that uh, basically analyzes the different phase uh, and, and instrument movement and gives insights of, uh, of this data, right? Right. I mean, I think, I think we're just at the beginning of that, you know, okay. I think, I think it's, it's that data, but then you combine it with the, the patient data and you combine it with the post-operative outcomes. And that's when it gets really exciting. And okay. we can talk more about that. I think, yeah. I think, we're, I think this, we're just at the beginning of, to me, what is exciting about robotics. So what, what I hear is, uh, because my next question was about uh, what are the current limitations and what you see in the future for robotics. And I was expecting some uh, maybe a mechanical or a software mm -hmm. features, but what, what I hear is more, uh, what you expect is more a connection between the, the, mm -hmm. the, the robotic device and the data that uh, comes from the, the surgery or even before the surgery and after the surgery kind of an ecosystem that ties all this data together and that provides some some insight that is patient specific and that uh, that uh, help you improve your practice i guess right exactly exactly i mean i don't think the biggest improvements are going to come from you know going from eight millimeter to five millimeter to three millimeter you know that's not the most exciting thing to me that, that, that's <laughs> the know? engineer engineer view yeah that's engineer view but to me it's from the, the clinician perspective it's you know, how do you really get the insights to improve meaningful outcomes? You know, like, mm -hmm. um, like let's say, for example, I do an inguinal hernia repair, okay? And the patient has, like, no pain afterwards. And I'm like, you know, to me, I can, like, it's hard for me to know exactly what I did better that time okay. or what I did worse the other times. But the computer can analyze all that and it can integrate that information with the information from thousands of other surgeons around the world. It can add that together to, you know, to, to kind of um, create this uh, collective experience that we can build upon. Right. And, and before that wasn't really possible, you know, you know, the older surgeons have their experience and they have the experience of their teachers and mentors, but, you know, we can go even beyond that and kind of build a collective you know, uh, knowledge base and with insights that, you know, humans just aren't able to, to detect. And so that's, that's the most exciting part and the limitations. And again, we can go more into this, um, is really the, uh, like the data sharing, some of the, you know, the legal frameworks are catching up to this. Um, we're not, we're not quite there yet. 